Hey, are you the parent of an ODD child? It stands for Oppositional Defiant Disorder. And if you're just learning about this, Oppositional Defiant Disorder is an angry or aggressive child who's been showing the same temperament for at least six months or longer. Like, I don't know who made that up. Somebody made that up and put it in a textbook. There's like nothing wrong with your child. Absolutely nothing. Your child was born with a perfect brain, born absolutely with pure potential to be, do, and have anything. But it's the parenting techniques that we're being taught today to practice authoritative control in some sort of gentle and kind way. We've been taught to get down on our kids' level and they're talking like their eye level and, and lecture them and explain to them why what they did was wrong and why we're taking their favorite thing away. And this is wrong on so many levels. Ugh. For Bonnie Leota, the co-founder of Creating Champions for Life, and we work with families every single day who come to us with kids who are ODD, conduct disorder, ADHD, kids with anxiety, kids with depression, and we teach them principles to authentically help their child from the inside out. So if you're here looking for actual solutions, you're in the right place with the right people doing the right things. But I'm gonna let you discover that on your own, okay? What I want you to know and to breathe life into the fact that your child is perfectly normal. In fact, your child, if they are oppositionally defiant, are probably leaders of the next generation being shoved into a box of compliance and submission. And we parents, you and me, are the ones who need to learn how to relate with them, how to empower them, how to breathe life into them, how to teach them life skills called self-control, focus, responsibility, and self-discipline. And I promise your child is capable. But what happens is they show a little opposition. We wonder why they're not listening. What's wrong with us? We take them to a doctor. The doctors have no idea how to help you. They only know how to suppress symptoms. So they're gonna offer some sort of medication, maybe therapy. Some of our clients have been going to therapy for years and years. One of our families spent more than $30,000 trying to help their kids. Another one of our families was in four different types of therapy trying to help their son, who was at the age of six diagnosed with conduct disorder. And they weren't getting anywhere. That's the thing is like, there's no, there's no end result. There's no end time. There's no, escape plan you know what i mean if we're really looking to help your child authentically then we must learn principles that can authentically help them engage in life and help them from the inside out authentically show them how the world works with proactive plans and proactive guidance through monkey see monkey do we need to make proactive plans and then release control and allow them to be who they're going to be and we need to learn how to love our children unconditionally because right now we're being taught, like whether we're aware of it or not, we're literally being taught to put conditions on how we love our children. If you do this, you're good. If you do this, you're not good. It's just, it's just absolutely acidine. So I guess I'm gonna throw it out there right now. Who do you choose to be? What kind of parent do you choose to be? What is your goal? Do you want your child just to comply and sit in a corner? Say, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. And not have any thought patterns of their own. Would you like them not to try anything new on their own? Just do what you tell them to do? Because this is the society that we're in. This is the path that we're on. And the children that are like, hey, man, show me how the world works. I want to be like you. I want to do what you do. I want you to show me the way, stop buying me things and giving me crap I didn't ask for and then coming in and taking it away with some sort of ulterior motive. Show me how the world works. Show me how to make a video game show up. Show me proactively when to get on, when to get off, why that must be. Show me proactively what it means to sit up straight in a chair or what it means to put my clothes in the laundry basket. And I know it might sound like easy to you, because you've done it 50 million times. You're an adult, but our children, they don't see the world the same way that we do. They're not adults. They have a two-year-old, a five-year-old, an eight-year-old, a 13-year-old mindset. And if they're 13 and you've done everything for them and catered to them and told them what to do and what not to do and created all the boundaries and all the rules up until now, they have no independent critical thought patterns in their brain. They're not going to be prepared to leave the nest. And if we continue to go to therapy and take them to doctors and try to figure out what's wrong with our children instead of what's wrong with our parenting style, we're gonna lose. 
We're going to lose our children. We're going to lose our grandchildren. We're going to lose connections. If you want to create authentic connection, learn how to be your child's trusted advisor. Watch our videos, find our channel, binge watch everything that you can about creating champions for life and see if our message resonates with your soul. And if it does, come join our Facebook group. It's free. We go live every week with new trainings, new lessons, so you can have an opportunity to get to really know us and get to see if this could be a solution to help your family. I'm Bonnie Leota. I'd be interested to hear your story, your comments underneath this video. What do you think? Do you think our children should just sit in a corner and comply with every move they make? And if they don't, there's something wrong with them? Or do you think that there could be something wrong with the parenting advice that we've been taught for the last hundred years or so? Until we meet again, here's to your parenting success.